So we still gotta speculate. As far as Sonic Mania goes, of course I'm gonna get that when it ha comes out. I love the fact that it's a throwback to the old Sonic games with a mixture of new uh, levels and um, new levels and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that, and hopefully it'll be a hit. It won't be a flop. And uh, that's really all I could say. You know, I am looking forward to the next Sonic Boom uh, games. Coming out, Fire and Ice, whatever. And I will be getting a 3DS for that. Excuse me. Whenever that occurs. So, hopefully that happens. And that's really all I have to say. Um, and speaking of Sonic Boom, we know a new uh, season's coming. And, uh, I I, and I and I've said it before, I'll say it again. I like the concept that they are basically now making it more of a mixture than what it was last season. I mean, last season, every episode was two 11-minute shorts. Now you're basically getting a mixture of not just those two-minute, you know, two 11-minute short episodes, but you're also getting a mixture of full-length episode, full length episodes as well as multi-part episodes as well. So that's a great change, a great change of pace, because I think, in a sense, Fans, they said, hey, we like this concept, but we want more. You have, you got to give us more, not just, you know, these short stories. You got to give us more to it. And uh, there is speculation, I guess. People are throwing out speculation that since Ian Flynn and Evan Stanley are possibly working on some episodes, we could see Sonic uh, Freedom Fighter friends like Sally and Bunny show up in Sonic Boom in some capacity. Who knows? So we'll just have to wait and see. But... Uh, Overall, that's all I have to say for my September monthly opinions of the Sonic the Hitchcock comic book and franchise. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll talk to you all later.